Okay, here we are. These are our high-end lip glosses. Uh, it, I don't know. Does it look like a lot? I have a, it's like, there's just certain brands I really like. So we can probably hopefully get through these very quickly because I'll swatch them all by brand. So these are from Persona. And when they launched on Ulta, you can buy them individually, but you can also pick them up as a set. And I believe it was like 30 some dollars for the set, but they were running 20% off, like I had a coupon, so I got them for a really good price, for like around 20 plus dollars for three glosses that are really great, so I was really excited. Honey, Peach, and Toffee, and they're all gorgeous. Um, honey, the lightest one on the left, actually, I mean, it just, it blends into my lips and it adds a little bit of color, and then the peach one is obviously peachy on me, and Toffee is just, they're just all really beautiful. I would highly recommend them. I think even individually, they might be under 20 each anyway. I'll have to double check, but keeping these. I'm sorry if you guys hear like trains. There seem to be lots of activity for a Sunday morning. Um, these are from Shiseido, and ever since they kind of rebranded a lot of their products, I believe they brought in Patrick Ta as their creative director. A lot of things are so good. I love these glosses. We have the shades Honey Flash over here, and this is Vinyl Nude. And those are swatches. I find if you are someone that is warm toned or you have like Asian skin tones, a lot of the colors in the lines are so good. So these go on, they are glosses, but I like tend to tap them in and once they're kind of set in from far away, I think people would easily think these are like matte products, but they're not. They're just very smooth and look really natural on the lips. I think they're so good. I got Honey Flash in like last year's VIB sale at the end of the year and then this newer color I got in this year's sale, the most recent one. They're just so good and highly recommend. So I ascribe to the school of thought that the Fenty Beauty glosses are fantastic. This one is Gloss Bomb and this one is Fussy and I love them both. The top one is Fenty Glow and that just is a very like beautiful natural looking color on me. It's super glossy and the other thing is that I mean, I mean, we all talk about the scent, which is great, but they also just don't, they like fade off really nicely. So, I mean, the glosses I have, none of them really leave any kind of pigment behind. They all just kind of wear off fairly gracefully. And then the bottom one is Fussy, which is the pink shade. But on me, it's like my lips but better. It's kind of like, it just blends right into my lips. So I really like it. I'm for a small second consider getting like the milky white color, but I'm like, no, is it what diamond milk or something? I don't need that. I mean, the pink one will probably do like suffice for me and then the white one might even be just too much for me. I'm not sure, but we're just gonna stay here, but I recommend these to you. So here are four of my full-size Marc Jacobs glosses. I believe these two, or like at least two of these I picked up like individually in a VIB sale and then um, maybe the others came in a set wherein I probably like decluttered some other ones. So we'll run through all these shades. So from left to right, we have Pretty Thing, French Tickler, Pink Steam, and Taboo. Taboo is the one is the first one I bought. I mean, you can tell obviously. I just go for like those like light to medium nudes, and these are all very minty, and I really like the way they look. Um, these were probably back in the day like one of my favorite glosses. They still are now, but I really feel like the first three formulas I showed you are also like might have like overtaken those as well as like the Pat McGrath glosses, which oh, are so fantastic. Um, so those are the swatches for those. So these are my mini ones. Again, I tend to pick glosses up when there's a sale because it's hard to finish a gloss. Glosses go bad sooner. So I can honestly say I very rarely pick up like an individual uh, gloss. It would have to be like an occasion. <laughs> Raspberry Beret, Boys Don't Cry, this is Chicha Changes and Skin Deep, and those are the swatches. The first two I think were in a kit, and the whole point of the kit I think really was to get the Chicha Changes. It is a duochrome kind of iridescent -y type gloss, and when you put it on, it's just like hot alien lips. Like, I really love this gloss. I use it fairly often. If I run out of this small one, I'll probably pick up the full size. I believe it was released like maybe two holidays ago and it was supposedly limited edition, but now I see it in their permanent line and it's very exciting. Skin Deep is a really good color. I think there's another lighter 
skin tone color and that one's just too like that's too porn for me but this one is really good i use it alone a lot or just to like temper um brighter colors okay i have two of the buxom lip polishes so this one is mariah and it is very milky and iridescent uh, I don't use this one that much and I feel like I probably need to it'll probably be something I wear more gloss in the summer So we'll see if I pull it out more to like play with other glosses. This is more of a perennial favorite It is Celeste. I never got it until I think like last year or the year before and I get it now like it is if it's like glass It's so gorgeous. It's very high shimmer Okay so these two are Dolly, these two are Hot Toddy, and this one is White Russian. Uh, so I technically just wanted to show you I have like a large and small of, I guess, some of these. So the Dolly and the Mariah that I just showed you earlier was like in a Macy's kit. It was like two, it was like $11 for both. And I was like, well, I like Dolly. So even if I was just getting Dolly, I'd be happy about that. So the top is Dolly. The second one down is Hot Toddy. It is my absolute favorite gloss from Buxom. If I had to recommend one to you, I would recommend that one. Although I guess if you are cooler tone, I would probably go with Dolly. Um, and the bottom is White Russian. This one is one of those like very kind of mirror finish type glosses and I use it and I mix it with other glosses often. Here are two Anastasia glosses. This is Neon Orange and this is Terra. I do like the formula of these, but my preferences overall are sheer glosses and these are very pigmented, so I do wear these and tap them in, but I think I'm just going to declutter them since I really don't reach for them. I always go for like, you know, sheer to medium glosses and something that is not super opaque that will possibly sink into my lines as the day goes on and everything gets drier. And those are the swatches, like Pigment City, right? Um, and even neon orange, I know it looks like kind of crazy there and like not something I would wear, but I've worn it a lot many times, specifically in the summer. And I just tap it in and it just gives me kind of like a peachy lip and less of an orange lip. Okay, from By Terry, we have Midnight Star and what is this one? Spicy Crush. So these were sent to me maybe a couple years ago. They're probably not good anymore, but they still look and smell fine. So I'm actually trying to decide if I want to keep these in my collection. I love them so much. I love everything about them. I just don't like the scent. And because of that, I don't reach for them that often. Um, as a drugstore dupe, I'm not saying it's exact one, but Lottie London has something very similar to this shade. Um, and then this one, I don't know. I, I tend to not peruse glosses that often. I'm very big on highlighters and bronzers, foundation, concealer. Um, so lip glosses aren't something that like I jump on when I see or if new ones are released. And those are the swatches of the two. I'm really debating. I feel like... Oh, I guess we'll just keep them for now. I mean, oh, I don't know. Okay, so this is a newer love. I haven't shared this with you yet. I started purchasing these probably sometime last year. So quite after they released. But I'm going to give you swatches of these. This first pink one is Pale Fire. And it is so pretty, especially just tapped in the center. These two and the next one, the gold one. So Pale Fire and Gold Allure. These are not things I would ever wear all over the lips. I mean, I guess for obvious reasons. They're just, they're toppers. But not toppers in like a chunky sense. They're just, they're so smooth. Okay, you might not know this, but as I'm trying to focus these swatches, <laughs> They keep, they're so shiny that they keep going out of focus, so I really have to be careful. So third swatch from the left is Wicked, and it's beautiful and nude and peach, like a dark peach. After that, we have Flesh Fantasy, and that is a darker nude, still beautiful. So this one here is called Faux Real, and it's a beautiful nude, like probably one of my most used shades. Sorry. And similar to that is the shade Flesh Astral. Astral? I have no idea how to pronounce that word actually. And this one is similar, but it's slightly lighter and it has shimmer in it. Lastly is the shade Bronze Temptation, which I'm not really sure about the shade name, but um, some of these I purchased in a kit. 
So like when you go to Pat McGrath's website, when she's running a promotion, you can use like the discount codes on the sets that she puts together and then uh, price per gloss goes down significantly. So I figured I enjoy her formula so much uh, that it wouldn't really matter. Um, I have some other ones that I've given away. So, but my God, oh my God, this just shows you how shiny they are like my camera is just like i can't do this too shiny so here's two from grande lips they are no, there are no shade names on here so i will list them below the top one's a nude the bottom one's more of a pink and that is what they look like i love these they really do look very uh lip injectable like when i wear them they plump they there's a slight tingle i don't find it to be painful it's just you know I really like them. Although I will say, if you just get the e.l.f. plumping glosses, those are also phenomenal. I mean, for the price, obviously. But the Grande Lips do have a set of three. Like, they do trios pretty often, and that really knocks down the price of each one. So this is a flesh gloss, and this is a Chanel Rouge Allure. It has, like, a really fun kind of, you know, applicator. So you, like, click it out. So the flesh gloss is called Hot Sauce, which, I mean, their names... They are really fun, but some of them, some of them I find, like even me, and I am someone that really doesn't get offended by things, but some of them I'm just like, why did you do that? <laughs> but I love the color of this gloss, uh, but it just, it's not, while I like sheer glosses to medium, I just think this just goes on and I get nothing. So it's just glossy on me, but it's not super shiny either. So it's just okay. Um, but it is newer to my collection. I picked it up with like a 20% off coupon from Ulta. So I'm going to keep it in my purse maybe and get use out of it. Then the Chanel gloss is called Super Nude. And I don't even know if they still make this. Maybe. they. I feel like Chanel has been doing a lot of different things with their line lately. Like either renaming things or discontinuing and bringing out new things. So I think... I need to declutter this one. This one's been in my collection for a really long time. I remember distinctly picking it up in Atlanta when I visited my friend. So that was a while ago. Okay, so this declutter was not very successful. We decluttered three and then all of these are keeps. Um, and then the By Terry were maybes. And I'm just, I'm just going to keep them in my collection maybe through the end of this year or this summer. And then we'll declutter. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll reach for them. Again, like I said, I use gloss way more in the summer, so we shall see.